adopting the Enid Municipal Code 2014, Title VI, entitled Motor Vehicles and Traffic, Chapter 1, entitled General Traffic Provisions, Section 6-5-8, entitled Attention to Driving Required, to include Oklahoma State law that prohibits texting and driving, providing for repealer, savings clause, severability, codification, <coughs> declaring an emergency. Andrea. Mayor, Commissioners. Uh, this ordinance adds a section uh, prohibiting texting while driving. Uh, it mirrors state law. It includes uh, the prohibition against texting, which includes instant messages, electronic messages, photos, videos, and emailing. Um, it does carry an exception when the person is communicating with 911, hospital, ambulance, fire, or law enforcement, and it carries a $100 fine. There were, there were like six of them that were excluded. Uh, there's five. Five, sorry. That kind of covers the waterfront. Right. As far as actually talking on the phone. Talking on the phone is not prohibited. Well, Andrea, that, that's the question that I've got. Under what circumstances would a person text if they were in an emergency situation rather than just dial 911 <laughs> and say, send, send help? Well, I, I don't believe that our 911 center is set up to, to accept text messages, but some 911 centers actually are set up to accept text messages. I mean, once again, messages. would that, is, is somebody that quick that they could text faster than they could talk to somebody than tell them what's wrong thing Ron. Huh? I don't know. I could I could I can go with my thumb about as quick as I could talk. Oh Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's got that good a thought. Yeah. It just we, we took the language directly from state law. We just mirrored state law and used that. I don't have any problem but I just was trying to visualize when that would happen. I I, I don't know that I could do that, but but to some further, probably to could. further answer your question one is responding with an emergency operator. Two is a hospital, a physician's office, or a health clinic. And that's going to get worked to death. A provider of ambulance services, a provider of firefighting services, or a law enforcement agency. Those are the five. I assume they have not changed. They have not changed, no. My only reason for calling the special session, and I did call the special session, was we had the ability to be on time by November the 1st, but we ran into some problems and weren't able to do that. So we're going to lag behind most of the cities and towns in the state of Oklahoma by not having it. If we had been able to pass an emergency on this vote, how many commissioners would have had to be present? The charter says five. State law says 75 percent. So if you calculate that, it would actually be six. So so it, it, six of us would have had to be here, not of the quorum, but... It actually takes a specific number to pass. Well, and by the charter. Oh, on the on the charter, it takes five. It, it specifically takes five And state statute is 75 percent of, the, of those present. Yes. That's what okay. I've always thought. What, okay. do we, what do we abide by? Well, we could do both. I mean, if there were, if one more commissioner was present at the moment, there would be both five commissioners to satisfy the charter, and if all five voted in approval, it would also be 75% of those present. Right. It, we would always so we do would, whichever is more restrictive. You didn't answer my question. We would always do whichever is more restrictive. So if we have seven... Obviously, that is six. Well, Mayor, it's not the same numbers because the charter is five regardless of who's who's there state statute is 75 percent of who's present not of the total so of who's present would be six when seven of us are here but who's present would be you know three when four of us are here. had there been five of us here today we could have four to. it would take four no it would take all five because to satisfy the charter <clears throat> yes okay but to satisfy state law Four. But we always will use the more restrictive, okay. which would be five. So our minimum ever on an emergency is going to be five, ever. And then if you've got seven present, then we would use six. I just hate to see us lag behind. To me, that was very simple. Anything else? 
if if we vote three to one, four to zero, whatever, then it doesn't need to be on the agenda Tuesday. The, Correct. And it won't go into effect until December the third or fourth. It'll go into effect 30 days after it is published. Next city agenda, next city council meeting is December the third. Well, it'll get published. It'll get published within a couple of days. I understand that, but it's, it's going to be 30 days. Right. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve. Second. A motion by Ron, a second by Ben. Further discussion? Please cast your vote. Motion carries 4 0. We do not vote on the emergency clause. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second, second by Ben, second by Ron. Please cast your vote. Motion carries 4 0. Thank you for being here. <laughs>